So it is the second and final day of President Trump's state visit to South Korea. The highlight of today is his visit to the National Assembly, where he will be giving his highly anticipated speech. It will be the first to the country's parliament by a sitting U.S. president in nearly a quarter of uh, a century, in fact. Uh, we don't know exactly what he's going to say, but there's speculation that it will focus on North Korea issues. For more, let's connect to our parliamentary correspondent, Kim Minji. Uh, Minji, so President Trump is due to start in less or around an hour's time. That's right, Mark. President Trump will arrive here at the National Assembly shortly, where he will give his address to the parliament. Like you mentioned, it's not a common occasion. It's the first speech by a U.S. president in 24 years, the last being made by uh, then-President Bill Clinton back in 1993. Now, Trump becomes the seventh U.S. president uh, leader to do so. He is expected to talk for some 20 minutes. Trump is known for not sticking to scripts, but his speech is expected to most likely focus on North Korea and its ongoing provocations. It remains to be seen how strong of a message he will give, but he is expected to stress the need for the international community to cooperate to curb North Korea's growing provocations, as he did so during summit talks on Tuesday with President Moon Jae-in. He is also expected to highlight the Seoul-Washington alliance as well as their cooperation on security issues. There is also speculation the U.S. president may touch upon pending trade issues like the renegotiation to the South Korea-U.S. free trade deal. If so, Trump will likely call on South Korea's parliament for cooperation, stressing the need to amend the deal in a way it brings mutual benefits. It's the only parliamentary address that he will be giving during his five-nation tour of Asia, so his speech could also provide an insight into his Asia policy and security and prosperity vision for the region. Some 550 people will be present, including South Korea's lawmakers, foreign diplomats, and those invited by the U.S. government. Prior to his speech, the U.S. leader is scheduled to sit down for a brief chat expected to last about 10 minutes with parliamentary speaker Chung se gyun and the floor leaders of the country's ruling and opposition parties. The National Assembly is currently under very tight security, with most exits temporarily closed. There's also heavy police presence in and around the parliament, with rallies expected throughout the morning. That's all I have for now. We'll be back in a later newscast.